Hello and welcome to this edition of our team briefing at the Plenipotent Company. This week we're starting a series of discussions on building the corporations of the future. We talk a lot or we hear a lot being said about the future of work and the work of the future. We know that work is changing and we need to adapt, but companies also need to adapt. It's not individuals alone that need to adapt. And when we're talking about how companies need to adapt, most of the time people talk about it um, in line with um, how you know, the processes need to change, how their systems need to you know, leverage on technology and all of that. But the most important aspect of any company at all is the people. Okay, so how does the relationship between companies and their people? And when I say their people, that starts with the internal clients, the team members, the, the workers in the company, you know, partners and stakeholders. How does that relationship you know, have to change? And then the relationship with the clients and the relationship with the society, because it is the companies that make the very necessary changes at this time that will last into the future. This is very important. And the things we're going to be sharing uh, um, in, in this session, I dare say that these things are prophetic. Okay, we are already doing them, and we are going to see that other companies are going to be trying to catch up eventually. So the earlier you understand this and you structure your business and even your personal life along the lines of this truth that we're going to be sharing, the greater advantage you are going to have. Okay, so let's um, continue and um, take our opening prayer. Then we go into the discussion. Our focus today is going to be on how corporations can create personal wealth. Okay, but um, let's let's go on um, to take our opening prayer. Like I always say, it's important to say these prayers out loud. I'm not saying you should shout if you're in a place where you cannot, you know, talk loud. But speak. You, you understand, even if it's even even if it is muttering it under your breath, you don't just. Um, like okay you don't just be following you know you say I'm, I'm following no speak it out it's very important okay and do it as often as you can okay not just um, when we have meetings several times um, throughout the day okay so let's go because of the finished work of Christ on the cross I have received the same blessing that rested upon Abraham and his lineage I now belong to the company of those that have on the earth there is much substance which no man's eyes have seen, he has heard, nor has imagined in what I have and in what I am doing where I am today. People came into the knowledge of the potential in what I have with an expression of shock and amazement when the Spirit of God within me revealed for all to see the surplus value in it. This has led to a place of wealth where I now have more than enough with all my material needs met. I am now set for the next phase of governance. I experienced this by first of all taking full ownership of what I had and the place I was, and with an unbroken continuous expression of gratitude and voice of praise, I unleashed my creative energy. I did this by first using my words, God's promises, to impress upon my heart the images of my asset, with its growth potential unlocked, and then I found the gaps in the human experience where I was, and with my talent, I filled it. I constantly declare to my heart set that as my seed, you have multiplied as the stars in the heavens. And to the spirit within, I say, you have breathed life into my seed. I promptly execute every strategy the spirit nudges me to do. Having experienced that length, our capital truly unfolds in the situation. I am now set for the next phase of my life. Okay, so first of all, let's even talk about the history of corporations. Of course, I'm not going to give an elaborate history, but I just want to explain how did we even come about corporations in the first place? How did companies start? You know, back in those days, like back in the days, there used to be a sort of, um, you know, the, 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 the aristocracy, you know, the uh, uh, monarchy and aristocracy, you know, kings and, and, and aristocrats, they kind of monopolized wealth, okay, such that if you are an ordinary person, for you to become rich is almost impossible. Okay, if you are not married, if you are not born into into wealth, or you are not born into the royal family, or you know some other form of aristocracy, then the the, the odds are just against you, and there was nothing you could do about it. You know, it was that bad. Then people started to come together and say that okay, if we cannot defeat the system as individuals, then we can defeat the system 
as a group of people. So people started coming together and they started pulling resources. And it is the same principle that we see as work today in things like crowdfunding, you know, then people come together and put you know, money together and they do business together. People start partnerships, limited liability companies and all of that. But that is how it started. Now, the interesting thing is that this, Things have now changed. The world has evolved. Okay, we are no longer in that period where a king we say that you cannot prosper, you know, and all of that. Now it looks like the the um, tables are now turned. Back then, it was you know, operation started because they wanted to overcome that limitation of okay, some people monopolizing wealth and you know preventing others from breaking into you know into that realm. But now it looks like it is companies now, corporations that are now monopolizing resources, okay, and impoverishing the community, impoverishing the people working with them, you know, for their own benefit. And they now just do something little and they call it corporate social responsibility. That is why in in in, in, in the human nature it is inherent. We know that we ought to do something for the society, we, we ought to do something for the community, but most organizations, most companies, they are just selfish and greedy. That's what we have seen. It's about them. It's not about the people working for them. It's not about the community. Then they just look for maybe one small percentage and they do something and then they do a lot of PR and they say we're doing corporate social responsibility. But it's, it's, it's much more than that. Now, the essence of companies, the essence of corporations is to... Uh, um, to renew the face of the earth, let me use that word, to make the world a better place, yes, to give people a better experience of life. And that has to start from the people working in those companies, okay? So we need to rearrange a lot of things. The structure that we have right now was developed in the industrial age, you know, where it was just about machines and machines and all of that, okay? And people would work from nine to five and all of that. Now, a lot of things have changed and we need to redesign the existing system in line with the current to realities so that people can truly maximize their potentials and become all that God wants them to be, do all that they are capable of doing and maximize their, their strength, okay? For example, people don't need to be spending four hours in traffic because they are going to work, okay? If you spend four hours in traffic every day, maybe two hours, two and two hours, two, and there are people that that's their reality. In fact, for some people, it's worse. I, I have a senior friend that when I go to Lagos, you know, back then, you know, I used to stay with him and he would leave home as early as around 4 a.m., you know, can you imagine that? And he wouldn't come back until around 11 p.m. thereabouts. You know, what, do, you, do you get that? Now, with that kind of life, you cannot really maximize your destiny. You can't be all that you are, you are meant to be. You have an engagement somewhere, you know, a friend is doing something important. Or they, you know, you have other things you want to do, but your work has just clogged up the whole thing. And it does not have to be that way. These things can be redesigned, okay? So we need to first break free from the mold of the past. Because there are opportunities to, to do new things. But as long as we are stuck to what we used to do in the past, we are not going to see the opportunities to break into the new realms. And, uh, the Bible says, I think it's in Hebrews, that if they had been mindful of the country where they came from, okay, they would have had the opportunity to return. Okay, but they were looking you know, for something better. They were looking you know, for a city with foundations and you know, something better. So the point is, we have an experience that we are familiar with, but we need to let go of that experience so that we can get something better. Uh, okay, now having said that, um, a lot of people, you know, want to be rich, you know, and all of that. Even though some people try to be religious about it, and they don't. But the truth is, even Jesus, he said that your father knows that you need these things. Okay, you can read that in Matthew chapter six, where he was teaching about money, and there are actually a lot of things to learn there about business, about money, and all of that. Okay, now, but the point is, if you want to be rich, you can achieve a whole lot more. Okay, when you come together, when you partner with others, and that is the essence of corporations. Okay, and the first partnership, this is important. Now, some people may think this is religious, but it's not religious. Now, when you ask people that have really made it, they are implementing these principles one way or the other. Some of them are doing it unconsciously, they don't know. Okay, but that's the way it works. Okay, you have to cooperate with people, there have to be, you know, corporations. In fact, the word corporation itself, you know, and, and the word cooperation, they, they probably have the same roots. Okay, when people cooperate to do something, then they, they form a corporation. Okay, and the first kind of cooperation that you need is actually cooperation with God. Okay, so what are the principles that God has set in place? Okay, for example, there is the law of seed, seed time and harvest. Okay, so what, what are you sowing? What kind of seeds are you sowing? Clients give you a project, how do you deliver? 
on those projects. Okay, do you deliver in such a way that they are so happy and satisfied that they want to give you referrals? That's the seed you have sown, and then you are going to reap more repeat business. Now, but if you do it in a sharp way and all of that, then that's also a seed, and you are going to reap lack of business. Do you understand? So you need to understand. Okay, so what are the principles that God has set in place? How can I partner with God? Okay, to improve. You know uh, uh, the the lives of people to create positive change in the society, and that should be the focus of your business. Lots of businesses are using people; they just use people, you know, and they don't really care. Okay, in fact, they don't care at all. It's not like they don't, they don't care at all. They just want to use people and just make money and all of that. And then they now do PR, and you know, you see them from the outside, you're like, wow. But when you get in, you know that this place, you know. Oh, sorry, um, one of my alarms is going off. Now, but when you get in, you know that this place is a very toxic environment. People cannot fulfill their potentials here. And it should not be that way. So instead of using people to build your business or to build your company, you should actually use your business or your company to build people. That is the model. That is the way corporations need to be going into the future. Because the future is going to be a fusion. And pay attention to this. Write it down because it's going to happen. You see it. And you just laugh like, oh, we've said this before. Because many of the things we are doing today, that is the way we said it. And now a lot of people are trying to catch up. A lot of organizations are trying to catch up. Now, the future now is going to be a fusion of self-employment and corporate accountability. Now, I'm going to explain that. Now, you are going to be working in a corporation or in a company, okay? You are accountable to the company and all of that. You are working in a company. But in essence, you are actually working for yourself, okay? You are just leveraging on the benefits that the company provides. You are leverage, leveraging on the structure and the systems of the company. But in essence, you are working for yourself. And it's, it's not a case of uh, 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 monkeys walking, gorilla is chopping, you know? <laughs> With a the monkey, they walk, the baboon, they chop. You know, you know what to say about that. Like somebody is doing the work, but it's somebody else that is enjoying the benefits. So you are doing the work and you are also enjoying the benefits. So it has to be a, a, a cooperation now between companies and their people. Okay, it's not like uh, people coming to the company and it looks like they are doing the you know the company is doing them a favor. No. The, the company is not doing them a favor. They are not doing the company a favor. It is a mutual partnership. That is the way the future will run. And some organizations are already doing that. Okay, they, they, they have a system where you know, they, they have freelancers. But those freelancers carry the badge of the organization. They carry the authorization of the organization. For example, you know, a lot of people are doing IELTS and a lot of exams like that. One of the organizations that conducts IELTS in Nigeria, and I believe in some other countries, is British Council. Now, all of those people that you see in the exam or when you go for IELTS, they are working for themselves, but they are, they are, they are, they are, you see them as part for British Council, but the contract that they have is actually a freelancer contract. Okay, so they are working for themselves, okay, but they are also working for the corporation. Do you understand? But, you know, I, I, well, it is a series, so we're going to have a lot of time to explore the details. Okay, but this point that I want to make here is that corporations need to have systems that create personal prosperity. So it's not just that people are working, 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 and you are saying people should be loyal, but they don't see how their lives are getting better. Their lives are not improving, their conditions are not improving, but you are doing well, you are buying new cars, you are you know, you know, enjoying life all over the place, and the people working with you are wondering like, what is happening? You understand? And the truth is there is actually a conspiracy to keep people poor. That's why you hear sort of things about prosperity, you know, people say, oh, prosperity preachers, this, 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 this. Because they want, there is a conspiracy to keep people poor. They want you to hate prosperity preachers. They want you to feel that, oh, prosperity is against the will of God and all of that. So that you won't even strive. And then they are able to keep controlling you. You understand? So you must not fall for that conspiracy. Instead, you should understand the meaning of true prosperity and you should go for it. True prosperity is beyond money. Money is not even a measure of prosperity. But when you are prosperous, you are going to have money. And when you get to a level of prosperity, you won't need money anymore, okay? And that is when you know that you are truly prosperous. You don't need money, okay? Now, because <laughs> you, 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 you just have what you need, okay? You, you don't need money when you get to certain levels. I, I wanted to use an example, but that example might not um, resonate with some people. Now, so let me just um, uh, uh, um, keep it short and brief. Now, but the point is that true prosperity is actually intangible, Okay, it is not something you can see or you can touch or you can feel. It is spiritual and it is intangible. You know, it, it is, uh, that's what Jesus called true riches. 
okay, when Jesus was talking about true riches, that's what it means. Now, true prosperity is the power to create wealth. Okay, you are not running after money, but you are going for the things that will put you in a position where you can make money. And in summary, it is about creating value and solutions. So you are adding more value to yourself so that you can create value for people, so that you can solve problems, so that you can improve the face of, of the earth. You can give people a better experience of life. So when you are in a position to do that, you cannot lack money, you cannot lack wealth, you cannot lack opportunities. But a lot of people are running after the money. And that's why Jesus Christ said, Seek ye first the kingdom, and all of these things shall be added unto you. Now, if you've been with us for a while, you know that the kingdom is not what people think it is. Now, the essence of what Jesus is saying there is that seek first the purpose, okay? Seek the purpose, and then the outcome will come. Now, for business, money is just an outcome, okay? We are making money, you know, and all of that. That's not the purpose of business, it is an outcome or one of the outcomes, okay? But the purpose of business is to create value for people, okay? And then to, to profess solutions, okay? That's why at the Plenipotent Company, we have a work philosophy. Our philosophy is that we approach work as a sublime act of service that provides opportunities to maximize our potential while preferring solutions and creating value. So the first thing for us is no money. We want to see, okay, is this project, why is this project going to help us maximize our potential? Okay, are we in a position to create value here? Are we in a position to prefer solutions? And then we take it. That's why we, we, we don't focus on the money. There are lots of things that we do for free. And there are lots of things that we do at a subsidized rate. And God has given us that wisdom to be able to do it. And because of that, we are building true prosperity. In just a few years, the company started in 2017. In just a few years, the kind of impact and influence that we have achieved by the grace of God is it's, it's beyond you know, what you could, what you could um, project. Okay? And we have only just started, you know, those of you that are with us, you will see how things will progress. We have only just started. But the point is, most people run after the outcome and they miss out on the purpose. But if you stay with the purpose, you are going to get the outcome. If you run after the outcome, you may not get it. You may not get it at the end of the day. But if you go for the purpose, you are going to achieve the purpose and then you are also going to get the outcome. So go for true prosperity skills, okay, relationships. How can you solve problems for people? How can you improve the lives of the people working with you, okay, as a business owner? Those are things that you should be thinking about. What contributions can you make to the society? Then even as an individual, Everywhere you find yourself, how can you improve what they are doing? How can you add value? What problems can you solve? Okay, so these things are very important. And when you do it this way, you are going to see that you are, you are having a very different kind of result. Okay, and you are going to be able to build generational wealth. So you are not running after personal prosperity, but you are running for, uh, 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 you, you want to be of service to humanity. But in the process of doing that, when you do that and you truly want to serve people, you start receiving insights and ideas that will help you to create personal prosperity. Do you understand? It's just like a, a, a pipe, a pipe that uh, carries, um, you know, carries um, oil, for example. You know, the, the pipe carries oil, it's a, uh, it conveys oil from one location to another and all of that. That pipe itself, we always have oil. Do you understand? Okay? So I want to share an example from the plenipotent company or, or uh, uh, some of the ways in which we implement this that others can model. Okay, because it's not as difficult as it seems. It just takes being genuine. You are you genuinely want to help people, okay, and you want people to be rewarded for their work. Then you are going to start getting insights and ideas on how you can create systems that make that happen. Because at the end of the day, going back to what Jesus said, you can read that in Matthew chapter six. I, I, I recommend that you read that entire chapter, especially starting from the part where he started talking about money and all of that. Okay, now he said that the people of the world they worry about a lot of things. So what shall we eat? What shall we drink? What shall we put on, we need to buy a new car, or this and that. But it says, lay up your treasures in heaven. Okay, and when you lay up your treasures in heaven, you know, all of those other things will be taken care of. And he said, seek first the kingdom. So what is the purpose? What, is, what has God called you to do? Okay, what is God doing on the earth? And how can you plug into that? God wants people to live better lives. He wants them to be healthy. He wants them to be wealthy. You know, he wants them to, to have the help that they need. Okay, you, what skills, what, what, what gifts have God given you that you, can, that you can refine? Okay, and then cultivate relevant skills, build relevant structures or plug into existing existing systems that can now help you okay to achieve a portion of that when you focus on that you are going to have you know uh, um, a very rich and fulfilling life okay so you are not running after money 
money now begins to you know run after you and it's important that you get to that point where money is not your problem where you have systems that, that help you to make money so that you can now focus on your real assignment do you understand many people cannot focus on what they really need to be doing because they are running after money so i want to show you some examples okay of how we have implemented that and um, starting with what i have done okay which i am now introducing into the company and that other people can model that's why i'm not um, worried about money okay how much is the company paying me Okay, and all of that, you know, and I'm sold out to it. I just want to help people and you know do the things that I believe that God has called me to do. Okay, so I'm going to be sharing um some examples. Okay, now look at this for example. This is a platform that we have where we have um, ready-made websites. The websites are pre-designed. So if uh, you know there are people that need websites very fast, maybe like um in, in within you know, a week, for example, they can order and then we just install and set it up for them within 72 hours and they have it. Okay, because those things have in fact I still received a call last week that was you know related to this. The person just had some challenges I wasn't able to follow through. But people need this kind of thing. You know, the same way that you want to make clothes, you can go to your tailor and then take measurements and they make you know customized clothes for you or you can buy something that has already been made so that now this is one uh, platform that we have where team members can promote this as if it's their own business and then when people buy through them they get a very generous commission so you don't have to do the work the work has been done now that is one level now as a team member if you now learn and we have systems that teach people all of these things now if you have now developed the skill such that it's not just that you are selling the thing after you have sold it Okay, after you have you know, sold it, somebody has bought through you and all of that, you are also now the one that set it up. But because people don't know you, maybe you've not even done this before, maybe you're just getting started, but now you're a member of a company. You understand? I, I'm trying to show you what I said about, about uh, uh, um, the future of work or the future of corporations being a fusion of self-employment and corporate accountability. Now, you are a member of the team at the Plenipotent Company, for example, and you say, oh, I can build a website. Maybe you have an organization that, you know, you know that they need a website, but, you know, you've not done much before, so they can't trust you. And all of that. So, um, uh, you know, my company can do this for you and all of that. And then they come here and they see and they're impressed. Let's see this, for example. And they look at it and they're impressed and they're like, wow, so we can have a website like this, this and that. And then you win the project. And for team members, we have special offers such that they may not even pay this amount. You can give them a special offer, you know, and all of that and you know it makes the sale even a lot easier for you and by the time you make that sale because you have already developed capacity oh okay my internet connection is not i don't know why this internet is behaving this way today um, okay but the point is now i'll still try to load the website just so you can see what it looks like okay now you have shown them and then they have bought it and all of that and um, now the company is going to build the website for them but you are also the member in the company. You are the team member that we actually built it. You understand? They are doing business with you, not because of you, per se, but because you know, there is a company that they've checked out and the company has built trust over time. You understand? So it makes things easier for you. And at the end of the day, you are building the website as if you would, uh, you know, as if it's your personal project, you understand? Okay, but you are doing it with the coverage and with the guidance and with the support system that the company provides, but you still get the money. So do you see? So at the end of the day, what we do for this particular offer is that we, we just set it up and then we, we, we change the content. We change the content for them. And and when people see what they are expecting, it's easier for them okay, to make up their minds. This is just an example. And that's also the model that companies like Bolt, companies like Bolt and Uber, you know, ride-sharing uh, um, um, companies. That's the model they're implementing. Now, when I take a boat ride, I'm not taking the boat ride because I know the person. You know, there are some boats, you know, boat orders that we have made, and the person will say, okay, can we do this trip offline? I don't know you. How can I do it offline? I don't know where you're carrying me to. I, I owe that because you know, boats has built trust, okay, at least to some extent, like I trust boats to some extent, you know, there is a platform, there is a system, so you are just bringing in your car, now, so that kind of system, you know, it, it creates personal prosperity, now, I've spoken with drivers, boat drivers that make as much as, you know, more than, like, uh, in fact, I remember speaking with one that makes an average of, like, um, you know, close to 300k, you know, within a week, you know, fine, you say, you told me that I was working, you know, extra hard and all of that money to unite because he needed to pay off, you know, the loan he took to buy the car, but it just shows the potential. Now, somebody that is a driver now, making, you know, around a million naira there about in a month, but it's not because he's a good driver, it's because he's part of a system, and that system allows him to get rewarded for his labor. Do you understand? That's the kind 
of companies that we should be having now, companies that get people rewarded for their labor. People have to labor, people have to take responsibility. For example, using the boat or Uber example, Uber or boat does not care about how you manage your car. Okay, you, you have to fill your car, you have to you know maintain your car and all of that. But at the end of the day, you get 80%. Do you understand? You know, or you get the larger percentage. I'm not sure exactly what the percentage is right now, but you get the larger percentage, and the company just takes a, a small percentage for you know, the system, the platforms they are provided. So that way, the company is growing, and the people are also growing. But everybody is working. You, you understand? And everybody takes responsibility for their results. So if you are not making money, it's not because the platform or the system is not there. It's because you are not doing the work. Okay. So that's it. Now this is another example. Okay, uh, uh, of how team members can make money. Now this one. In particular idea to income is a training that I created and we have run several editions of it and now I am not running it anymore. The last edition when I want people now usually you won't see this when you come here you have to watch the video first. Okay and then this shows up and when people click this it takes them to the registration page. So the last edition of this that we ran was from January 21 to 22 2020 and I am not running this again. Okay so it's um, now going to be an online course, a self paced online course that people can sign up for the online course and take it at their convenience and at their own pace. And for this, team members are going to get 50%. 50%. So the company takes 50%. Team members get 50%. So like we have done the work. We are the ones doing the maintenance. We have created the content. And you just you know, share. You are actually helping people and you are getting paid for it. Now, if you want to take up this one, which is the live edition. You know, there is a live edition we used to have before. You know, you want to do the live classes. The system is already in place. If you are interested in that, then you can also indicate. Now, if we have team members that are interested in that, they can come together. And for that, you are not even going to get 50% because, you know, we are no longer doing this as a company. We want to give it to team members. So you get the whole thing. You just pay, you know, you, 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 you know the company just takes 20% of, of it for the maintenance of the platform and a number of other things and to uh, uh, provide resources to create more opportunities like this. Okay, so every money that you make, you know, is, is, uh, is for you apart from the small percentage that comes to the company. Okay, so systems like this, there is no way that you are going to be working, okay, and you are not going to be getting the results. Now, this is 4,200. Imagine that if every month, okay, if every month you get uh, um, just 100 people, okay, that's already like um, how much? That's around um, 420,000 thereabouts, okay? Now, if, now, can you, and this is just one, this is just one of the platforms, you understand? And if you do the work, all of these things are possible. Now, we also have uh, uh, um, athlete opportunities, for example, look at this. Now, let me refresh so that you won't think that maybe it's a screenshot or something, okay? So, um, how much can you see here? This is $1,000, and this is personal. And I told you before that when we come together as a group, you know, as a team, we can actually do a whole lot more. So if I could make $1,000, you know, within this a space of some months, we didn't know actually like it's, it's, it's over a period. But if I could do that, we can come together, you know, and then we can make $10,000 every month. So if, if, if 10 of us are making $10,000 every month, you remember that this is just one who have shared two opportunities before. Now, if 10 of us are working together and then we're making $10,000 every month and we share it $1,000 each, now you're making $1,000 every month from this alone, you are making um, another 400000 that we also share, you know, and different, do you understand, can you see the potential? But the point I want to make is that these things, they come through service to humanity. Now, for example, we have um, training programs, we have our online school, where a lot of the courses, they are free. So we're teaching people how to make websites, for example, okay, and then also in our, uh, our growth ambassadors program and our graduate training program, that's one of the things we teach because sincerely, it creates a lot of opportunities. When you know how to build websites, it's an entry into a lot of other things. You can enter into software development, you can enter and you know, become an IT consultant. It creates open doors in a lot of ways. So we are doing all of that and it's free. Can you see free website development for beginners? Free. Build professional websites without coding free. You know, a lot of free training. So people take these free trainings and we are creating value for people through that. But they need to get a web hosting account, okay, when they are ready to build their website. And they can get it from anywhere. But since we are the ones teaching them, instead of them getting it from anywhere, why not get it from us? Okay, so we sign up, you know, we have a partnership arrangement with some web hosting companies that we know are very reliable. And when people buy from them, we, we get paid also and we share, the, we share that. Do you understand? 
So all of these things are not difficult. If you are ready to work, you are going to make a lot of money. But companies should also, you know, make that, you know, make that possible for people, you know, that are working with them. Because at the end of the day, then everybody wins. But if it's just about the company making money, you are not interested in the lives of the people, then things are going to go wrong. And if it is just about making money, you are not interested in value, then you also know you are also going to miss it. Okay, so that's um, just a picture. We can't cover everything, but I just want to show you, you know, some ideas and examples. And now look at this. Uh, this was just five days before recording this. Uh, uh, um, you know, um, um, discussion. Okay, I'm doing this on, on the 8th of February. Okay, now this was 3rd of February. Look at it, okay? And um, there, that's $100. And there's, you know, there is more, you know, that is waiting, that is not yet um, ripe, okay, for delivery. I'm refreshing so that you know that it's not a screenshot. I just want to show you some things, you know, to let you see the possibility. Now, this is, now it may not be a lot of money, but it's something then, the, uh, before then it is a good 31st of January. Between 31st of January and um, 3rd of February, that's, 200, this is 195, okay, this is 195, okay, and then this is um, um, 100, that's 295, within 25 dollars within. It may not be a lot of money, but it's something. So when you have, you know, different, when you have different ways like this, through which money comes to you, through different channels like this, and, you know, you are, you are relaxed, you understand? You are not, you are relaxed, you are not like, ah, eh, you are not only after money, you are creating value and then you have set of systems such that as you create value, money comes to you and then you can focus on your core assignment. So as a company, that is what we are doing. I and mean, I have done it for myself as a person, okay, and then we are now scaling it up. We have scaled it up such that team members can also benefit from the same. You understand? Now, for example, if you are in Nigeria, you may not even, you may even be wanting to do even the same money to PayPal. There are ways to do that, you know, and you do it legitimately. So all of those things, there are things that we teach. You know, that's what I was saying about two riches, skills. Skills are part of two riches, knowledge, okay? So we teach all of these things. We help you set up the platforms. You have a U.S. bank account and all of that. And we want you to make money. We want to support you, okay, to make money. There are even some offers that we say you have 100%. Just take it and then you have 100% of it. Because we just want to help, you know, and money is not our problem anymore by God's grace. We, we know what to do. You know, to make money because when we create value and we have the right you know, systems in place, we have the right motives and all of that, money is, uh, is an outcome. It's just like when you put water on fire. That's the example I use a lot. When you put water on fire, you don't have to pray for that water to boil. As long as the water is on fire, the water will boil. Okay, so that's what making money is. So, but many people are running after the money and they are, they are losing it. So why not once and for all set up the system? Why not set up the system once and for all that will help you to be making money so that you are not worried about money and then and then uh, uh, you can focus on what you really need to be doing. This is another example of another offer. You know, we have set up the platform, we have built the trust, we have done everything, and then you just come as a team member, you know, and then you promote. And we have messages, we have promotional messages, we have um, other materials, videos that we give team members for this purpose. And then you you, you get somebody to sign up for one of these, uh, or, 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 uh, and you get your you get your part of the of the proceeds and if you now happen to be the one that works on the project again if you are like maybe the team leader one of the people that work on the project you get paid for that separately again do you understand so you don't have to be the one thinking of hey, so how do i set up this platform now okay i've not even done this before with people trust me they don't need you don't need that you know because the company has already built trust you can leverage on the trust that the company has built and get things done and you also receive the coaching the fact that these prices are here does not mean that now somebody can get a launch website for 600k because you are you know achieving some other things for the person and somebody else can get his own for 150k or her own for 150k because the person does not want some of the details you put here and make some modifications. The point is at the end of the day, you can customize these things to people. That's why can you see uh, to choose your preferred package or request a custom plan. So, but when you see something like this, ah, the person knows that this is an organized company. These people know what they are doing. Do you understand? But if you want to start this on your own as an individual, then it will take you a while. It will take, do you understand? But now you can cut off all of that. And so you are getting the advantages, the benefits of working with a company and you are also getting the benefits of um, of um, of working for yourself. So you're actually working for yourself with the support of a company. And that is the future, really. That is the future of um, of corporations. So the companies that are going to like have to create systems that are no now the way each company will implement it will be different. There are some companies that what they have is profit sharing. They have a model for sharing profit. You understand? This is another service. Okay, this is another service and you see they are different. So there are lots of things except you are not ready to do the work. If you are ready to do the work we have created the systems to make it easy for you, you know, to make 
the money okay so i'll just stop here for now because um of our time and um, you can always ask your questions type your questions in the chat or if you are 14 members you know how to reach out okay you know what to do and how to reach out and get your questions across but for those that are not team members type your questions in the chat or you can use the other channels provided and we are going to uh, get across to you okay so our goal at the end of the day is that uh, everybody on our team should be any at least 10 times the minimum with whatever country they are in minimum you can do more than that but minimum by the time you've worked with us for six months or you know maximum of one year as long as you are doing the things that you have to do and you are committed to the process you should be making at least 10 times the minimum wage in your country and you can see so these are just some this is just you know a, a, a the tip of a tip of the iceberg that i've shown you and we are committed to the process so it's up to you okay to decide how you want to do this and for uh, business owners other business owners it's up to you to also decide how you want to implement this kind of system in, in your in your company so that it's not just about you you just want to make all the money for yourself it doesn't work that way it doesn't work that way help people and you know for example now if you if you have a system that makes just for example that makes one million naira for you and you can only because you are limited in capacity as a person you can only do like maybe you know 10 every month that's 10 million every month but now you now have a system where you have 1,000 people. You are helping 1,000 people to make 1 million every month. And those 1,000 people, okay, those 1,000 people, they will, they give you 200,000 you know, out of the 1 million every every month. Now, multiply 200,000 by 1,000. You know, that's already 200 what? <laughs> 200 million thereabouts. Do you understand? So that is the power of when you come together and you really want to help people and you create a system that makes that happen. Everybody wins. You understand? Okay, so um, that's it. So the resources um, we're sharing for this week, you can see them, you can check them out. Some of them is sound strange to you, like this right your obituary, but I want you to check it out and see what it is about. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, comments and questions, um, you can send them across, okay, if you have not typed them already and you have the links, this is for team members, you have the links to our deliverables channel on our workspace and the deliverables um, worksheet so that you know what we're working on and now you can come in what you are going to pick. The course to think about for this week. We live in the information age, so there's a lot of useful information all over the place. Books, social media, webinars, etc. But only a tiny fraction of this information is useful for you and relevant to you. Narrow yourself to this or you will be overwhelmed for nothing. Think about that. That's from Philip Amiola. Okay, then we have this from Ebele Uzo Peters. Money neither generates nor sustains real wealth. Value does. Money itself has no real value. It is simply a means of exchanging value. This is why a money-minded generation with a poor sense of value, what matters, can never be a wealthy generation. And um, this is very instructive. Uh, that's why, for example, you know, some people find it difficult to, you know, to command and this is a lesson on pricing to command you know good pricing for what they are doing because they can't even communicate the value they are offering or maybe they are not even interested in offering value in the first place but when you look at this for example can you see all of the details so people can see okay what am i getting what is the value then beyond this we, we go for that you know explain there is what we call client education to explain things to them so they can see what they are getting when you ask them to pay that much so you know, if you ask asking somebody to pay 750k you know for this kind of project for example they say no i only have 300 you know you can easily you know explain to the person which of these which of these do you want us to remove? Look at the value we're creating for you. Look at what it is going to do. And it's not just about the features. You explain, you know, the benefits, you know, that come with those features. Okay, but that's another uh, uh, um, thing, uh, another discussion. Okay, so I just wanted you to um, see what is possible and to think about these things. So think about the codes, okay, and um, see how you can integrate them into your life. And um, we are going to have these declarations, okay. Um, and this is going to continue. Okay, so let's say it out loud, okay? In the name of Jesus Christ, I have a rich, satisfying, and overflowing life. As we do all of these things, we're actually programming our minds, you understand? We are, we are sowing seeds into your heart that will, that will grow, that will create an harvest on the outside, okay? So let's go. In the name of Jesus Christ, I have a rich, satisfying, and overflowing life. By the grace and mercy of God, I have received wisdom and power to build up vast assets, that have continued to generate an abundance of wealth in profits, equity, retainers, consulting fees, dividends, interest, royalty, rental income, residual income, rebates, grants, gifts, annuity, 
capital gains and other forms of income. My wealth and riches have continued to increase and multiply exceedingly, so much that accounting for them is like counting the stars in the sky and the sand on the seashore. I daily present my business and career as an altar of sacrifice to God. Therefore, he has blessed the work of my hands, causing me to implement insights and ideas that have made me so successful that nations come to my light and kings to the brightness of my rising. I have become very great and extremely distinguished in Jesus' name. Amen. Make these declarations to yourself every day, you know, and you, you are going to see what is going to happen. Okay, so let's take our closing prayer. As the seed of Abraham, by reason of God's grace and mercy upon my life, I have unlocked the growth potential and profitability in what I am doing. These are created options. I have chosen the straight and narrow path of using the liberty my position has given me for its true goal, which is to be innovative and to multiply what I have through cooperation, being a blessing to others. With my face set upon my new goal of building a globally scalable trillion dollar company, I daily appropriate this by using my words, God's promises, to impress images of our future on my heart, and then thanking God faithfully because this is my new experience. We have delegated the units of labor here to the right people with the right talent and attitude without any form of partiality based on past emotional bonds. They in turn under the influence of the intent and images of the Holy Spirit have been highly productive, all working together for the common goal. We have created systems and structures to deal with the complex issues our growth brought and we have done this without dropping the ball even once. We responded to every negative feedback with compassion, easily touched with the feelings of their pain. We were highly accurate in predicting the future that wasn't apparent and also in executing our strategies. A new position brought us fierce competition, but as the scripture says, I declare to my seed, you have possessed the gates of your enemies and inherited the wealth of the Gentiles. My seed, the plenipotent company, though you started as the smallest in the garden, you have become the most dominant institution in your field in this nation. I declare to every single person in this outfit that the life and wisdom of God works in you and you have performed with an excellent spirit. Having experienced and learned how capital truly unfolds in a situation, I am now set for the next phase of my life. Thank you very much um, for joining us. Invite your friends. If you find these sessions useful, invite your friends to join us 6.30 a.m. every Tuesday and the replay runs 6.30 p.m. throughout the week on the same platform. Thank you.